Hello and welcome. I'm Alex Hurst from the 21st Cohort of the Data School. I'll be showing us a how-to in Tableau, and today we'll be doing how to create a control chart. So as the name suggests, control charts are a graph for showing the state of control for a company. It's to show if a measure is within an acceptable variance. With a well-functioning control chart, you can easily spot time periods of excessive variability, and this can influence your research or your business decisions. So great, now we're in Tableau, we can go about creating this control chart. So firstly, we need a time series. So let's bring on our sales onto our row shelf. Let's bring order date onto our columns. Let's select continuous month. So this will be the line graph we can use for this control chart. So for control chart, we need an upper bound and a lower bound, which will be our standard deviations. We also want to give the user the option to widen these boundaries if they want to. So we use a parameter to use that. So if we go into the data pane and we go to create parameter, Let's call this n number of standard deviations. Now, if we need to change this float to an integer and change the allowable values to a range. So a minimum of one and a maximum of three. Rarely do you ever use a bigger range than one to three with standard deviations. And OK, and let's go show parameter. And you can see on the right hand side, this will be how the user can specify how wide they want their boundaries to be. So let's create these boundaries. We go to create calculated field. Let's start with lower bound. So here we will go for our window average of our sum of sales. So this is giving us the average of the sum of sales in the view as opposed to the underlying data. And now we need to do a window standard deviation. So we minus our window standard, devia standard deviation of our sum sales again giving us the standard deviation of the marks in the view and we times by that multiplier we created in the parameters so the user can specify now if we just put these last two in brackets we click apply and okay this will be our lower bound so let's follow the same process for our upper bound for our upper bound we want to do our window average of our sum of sales giving us the average in the view. And here we want to do plus our window standard deviation of our sum of sales times by that multiplier. So the only thing we change between the upper and the lower bound is just changing this from a to a plus from a minus. Remember the brackets, apply and okay. Now, one way to do it is to create a line chart and use that as an upper and a lower bound. But I like to do it with reference lines. So if we bring our lower bound onto our marks card and onto our details, and we do the same for our upper bound, we can go to the sales axis and add a reference line. So here under our value, we'll have our lower and our upper bound. So let's, let's select our lower bound. We don't want our label on. We want this as the darkest black line. And let's just make this a dashed line. So here's our lower bound. Now follow the same process, go to the y-axis or the sales axis, change this to upper bound, let's take the label off, change this line to black, and let's go for dashed. So here we have our upper and our lower bound. And you can see on the parameter on the right side, we can specify how wide you want these boundaries to be. Now, a nice touch will be let's color the out outliers. So if a mark is above the upper bound or below the lower bound, let's make this a different color. So let's go for that. Let's create a calculated field and we'll call this, just call this color outliers. And we'll say if the sum of sales is greater than our upper bound or our sum of sales is less than our lower bound. And this will give us a nice true or false statement on which we can drag onto our colors on the marks card. So you can see this sort of gives us some sort of gradient fill with a line chart. Maybe we want to change the, the chart type up. OK, so we'll drag color off our marks card again. Let's duplicate the sum of sales on the row shell. So we get two, two graphs here. Now, for the second graph, we want to make this a circle. And for this, we can drag our color outliers onto our marks card onto the color. So this will change on the second line chart. Now, if we make this a dual axis, and we remember to synchronize our axes, here you have the marks which have changed 
it's a bit more clearer. Now, if we went for some formatting, so we'll call if true is false, we can just make this a lighter red. And we can bring the luminosity up here for the blue. This will give a nice touch to your chart. And here, again, the user can specify how wide they want these standard deviations to be. So thank you, everyone, for coming to this video on how to in Tableau and how to build a control chart. I hope everyone is a bit more comfortable and can imagine some business use cases where it can be useful. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can click the little bell icon, and this will give you notifications for future videos. And you can check out our YouTube page, where there's lots of related videos on Tableau and Alteryx. Make sure to check out our newest upload, which was by Alicia Dillon, and it was looking at some Gantt charts. Thank you.